A father is a very powerful figure that guides us and cares about us in every way. When I was an intern in China, my manager acted the same way, with authority and morality, but at the same time showed consideration in every way. Leaders in Chinese organizations develop very special characteristics with the followers. And today, I would like to introduce the partneristic leadership. In Western leadership studies, there are two main approaches, the normothetic approach and the ideographic approach. The normothetic approach refers to the tendency to generalize the leadership styles, while the ideographic approach tends to investigate specific leadership based on the cultural roots. Taiwanese researchers observed the uniqueness of the leadership concepts and behavioral styles from indigenous perspective in the 1970s and started studying this leadership systematically with the paternalism as a key element. This leadership style combines the discipline and authority with fatherly benevolence and moral integrity, while personal factors are also involved in the decision makings. The most important three constructs are authoritarianism, benevolence, and moral leadership. Authoritarianism refers to a leader's behavior that asserts absolute authority and control over subordinates and demands unquestionable obedience for the subordinate. Benevolence refers to the leader's behavior that demonstrates individualized, holistic concern for subordinates' personal or familial well-being. Moral leadership refers to a leader's behavior that demonstrates superior personal virtues, self-discipline, and unselfishness. Based on the theoretical constructs, a measurement tool was developed with three dimensions in Chinese. Shi means granting favors, refers to the benevolence, includes behaviors like individualized care, understanding, and forgiving. Li Wei refers to inspiring fear, refers to the authoritarianism, including behaviors like powerful, subduing, authority, control, rigorousness, doctrine. Shu De means setting a moral example, refers to the moral leadership include behaviors like integrity and fulfilling one's obligations, never taking advantage of others, selfishness, paragon. Samples from mid-level supervisors, employees, and teachers across various types of business and schools demonstrated these three dimensions consistently. Confucianism is the core cultural root for paternalistic leadership. First, the authority from the father in the family is the absolute power and legitimacy. Children should follow and obey. This aligns with the authoritarian dimension. Second, people's roles in their relationship is built on mutuality. No matter it is father-son, husband-wife, brother with younger brothers or ruler administer relationship, the person in the superior position has to demonstrate benevolence by being kind and gentle towards the inferiors with gaining loyalty and obedience reciprocally. Third, Confucius believe that the cultivation of individual personality and virtue is the cornerstone of the society. Superiors has to be the moral standard that influence others through genuine gratitude. Legalist school of thoughts, control and political manipulation are highly valued during the imperial China, and that's the root of authoritarian leadership. Consequently, subordinates are driven by genuine gratitude, personal loyalty, or obedience to and compliance with the superior's request. Using a clinical approach, researchers observe that in response to the leader's shi en, which is benevolence behavior, a subordinate will show gratitude and repayment for the leader's case. 
in response to leaders Li Wei, which is authoritarian, a subordinate will demonstrate obedience, compliance, and fear responding to the leader's request. In response to leaders Shu De, which is moral, subordinates will exhibit recognition of the leader and internalize the leader's value, and their job performance will be affected by the leader. There are similar components in the Western transformational leadership compared to partneristic leadership. But partneristic leadership still has its uniqueness. First, individualized considerations. It is important that Western leaders respect the subordinates, care for them, and support them. But benevolent leadership is not only confined to the job, but extends to personal issues as well. I had a meeting with a business dean in a university from my hometown, and she offered to introduce me a boyfriend the first meeting I had with her. This would be considered an inappropriate in the Western business school. Benevolent leadership is also long-term oriented and includes forgiving and protection. While in Western culture, the individualized consideration is displayed in the context of equal treatment, equivalent rights, while well, Shi An behavior, the benevolence behavior, are enacted in a large difference in authority and power distance between superior and inferior. Second, high performance standards. The high performance standards and requirements are similar to the doctrine in the authoritarian leadership, but also with difference. Due to the power distance, the legitimacy of the authoritarian leader is derived from the subordinate's internalization of an inferior role, rather than from accepting the supervisor's assignment of the job responsibilities. Consequently, an authoritarian leader would try to control and promote a subordinate's performance via personal preference and threat. Third, modeling. Leaders stress moral values such as equity and justice, which is comparable to moral leadership. Modeling through transformational leadership stresses that a leader leads by example to set up an integrity paradigm. While moral leadership emphasizes on unselfish behavior, including not abusing power for one's own good and not taking personal revenge in the name of public interest. Here are some follow-up questions for you to think about. When do you think partneristic leadership is effective? What do you think about the effectiveness of partneristic leadership on individual versus group processes? What are some unique factors on leadership from your culture? Thank you.